This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. We have an update to a story we brought you Friday night on WENY News. A man faces several charges after being the center of a standoff in Sayre, which lasted nearly 10 hours. Justin Holloway will be charged with making terrorist threats, having a prohibited offense weapon, and unlawful possession of weapons of mass destruction. Police say 33-year-old Holloway locked himself in a house on Packer Avenue in Sayre Friday morning with explosives and high-powered weapons. Around 8.30 p.m., police confirmed the subject was in custody. However, he was picked up at a firehouse about three miles away in Milltown. It is unknown how or when he left the home. He was taken to Robert Packer Hospital for treatment on a mental health warrant. Corning City Councilman Frank Coco could be censured, and this wouldn't be the first time. According to our media partner, the Star Gazette, the Corning City Council will vote on the censure at tonight's meeting. This stems from Coco calling other council members morons when they voted against one of his resolutions. Corning Mayor Rich Negri says that behavior is against the code of conduct, but if Coco apologizes, he'll withdraw the resolution. It was all aboard this past weekend for a steam-powered train trip to Corning. Historic Nickel Plate Road Locomotive number 765 powered the first steam excursion train from Buffalo to Corning in over a quarter of a century. 765 was built in 1944 and was later restored to operation by the Fort Wayne Railroad Historical Society. The train is scheduled to pass through the southern tier again today on its way to Allentown, Pennsylvania for an excursion on August 22nd. Steeper greenhouse gas cuts are looming for U.S. power plants. President Obama released this video previewing a climate change plan he is expected to unveil today. His plan calls for stricter carbon dioxide limits on states, meaning a 32 percent cut by 2030 instead of the 30 percent he proposed last year. President Obama is calling this, quote, the biggest, most important step we've ever taken to combat climate change. Stay tuned for more on this story coming up throughout the day. Now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast. Hey, Craig. Hey there, Leanne. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Pretty decent weekend weather-wise. And today it's another summery type day, warm and sticky. Now during the afternoon there will be scattered showers and storms breaking out. Now there's the risk for a few storms this afternoon to contain damaging wind and some hail. Uh, so we'll be keeping an eye to the sky as we head into the afternoon in advance of a cold front we should make it to 84. Now there's a new cold front that comes in Tuesday and that's the front that's going to usher in that cooler, more refreshing air as we head into midweek. So future track at noontime trying to depict something across western New York here and I think as we head throughout lunchtime there's an opportunity for a few scattered showers but I think party time for us this afternoon will be between 2 and 6 as that line moves through right there. You can see a few uh, darker shades of yellow and orange indicative of uh, some rain, some downpours, and the potential for one or two strong to severe storms. That front works its way to the east and the storms end tonight. Then we get into Tuesday and cold front number two. That will come through. You can see this right here with scattered showers and storms moving through as we head into the afternoon. Once this front blows by to the east, the winds will turn a little bit more northwesterly and it will become cooler uh, through the day Tuesday, high 75 to 80. And then Wednesday, I think a uh, pretty good looking day with a fresh breeze and highs in the 70s. So here's your forecast today. Sun and clouds and a balmy start near 70. Lunchtime, maybe one or two scattered showers at that point, 82. And then scattered storms moving through. Again, a few storms this afternoon may become strong, severe with a high of 84. Few more storms Tuesday afternoon, but 78 and turning less humid. Wednesday, a cool breeze and a high of 76 with some sun. Now we get into Thursday and Friday, and in this time period, this particular forecast period, there's going to be a wave of low pressure that will track south. So I've indicated rain to the south Thursday, 75, a few scattered showers Friday, 76. And right now the weekend looking fairly decent for race weekend at the Glen. Of course, that forecast is seven days away for Sunday, but right now it looks 
decent with sun and 75 to 80. We'll see if that uh, holds. Okay, Leanne. Fingers crossed because that looks good. Yeah, fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> All right, thanks, Craig. Yep. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Leanne DeRosa. Have a great day.